Yeah, so that's what three cons uh, three consecutive weekends of monsoon rainy rides does to your bike. It's very dirty. And before I can do anything else, like installing any kind of accessory on it, I need to give it a g good wash. So let's go. Wow, I never thought I'd have to take so many takes of this video. Anyways, hi guys, how are you? Hope you're doing absolutely fine today. I have a new accessory to show you today. If you've seen my last video, uh, you would have seen that I have installed new off-roading tires on my bike. The Apollo Trampler XR, which are specifically made for bikes like the KTM Duke 200. And uh, I took them on a couple of off-road rides, including mud slash rain, lots of rain actually, uh, in the mountains. And they performed excellently. I would highly recommend them for anybody looking for an upgrade. The only thing is now my bike has become really dirty. And uh, the next accessory that I have before I can install it on the bike, I will need to give my bike a thorough wash. So that is something I plan to do next. Before that, however, let me show you the accessory that I have brought. Okay, so here's presenting the Zana radiator guard for the Duke 200, black color. I just got the delivery yesterday, so let's open it up. It's pretty lightweight. I thought that a radiator guard would be pretty heavy, but uh, you know, it almost feels like, uh, I don't know, it's made of uh, thermocol or car paper. The workmanship on this uh, radiator guard must be really good. It's supposed to be an aluminium uh, radiator guard, right? And it's supposed to be machine, not like cast or something like that. Let's find out. Okay, so there we go. Nice. It's perfectly made for the Duke. Let me open this one also up just for you. I got to wash my bike first before I install this. So I will be putting it back in the thermocol. But yeah, look at the quality. It looks really good. It has that slight curve to suit the radiator. Okay, so with this out of the way, I have a surprise accessory to show you as well. I just got the delivery few minutes ago and I thought that I'll include it in this video to show you. I'll put this one away. Okay, so can you guess what this one is? I don't think so. But it is for my long ride. At home, I have a paddock stand for propping the bike up whenever I need to, you know, clean the chain or I haven't yet gotten to it so far, but I will have to adjust the chain's uh, tension as well, right? I cannot take that all along when I'm on a long ride, so it's too big. And I thought I need something like this if I want to take care of my bike properly. I'd seen a moto jack, but I am not too keen on buying that. I thought this accessory would be better. It's something recommended by uh, many bikers as well. Hey, and it does have a KTM on it. So this is the Grand Pit Stop Growler, medium size. 
for chain and tire maintenance. Okay, so let's see what it looks like. The user manual, I will refer to it. I have never used a growler before. And there we go. It is orange color suiting the KTM. So that's good. It is larger than I thought it would be. Uh, there's a QR code with instructions on how to use as well. Mm. well. It's pretty good to roll. I think it will be suitable on the bike. Let's find out. Such a big difference washing the bike makes. My bike's been so dirty for almost a month now and it's looking like it's right out of the showroom. Now I just got to let it dry for at least an hour before I actually start installation of any of the accessories that I've got. So I'll see you in about an hour. Hi guys. So it's been roughly over an hour and Although it's raining outside now, my bike is mostly dry and I think it's about time I started working on it. So let me show you. I have set up the bike on the paddock stand right here. So that it gives me some space to work on. And the first thing that I am going to start doing now is to set up the radiator uh, card. Okay. Okay, so I'll start from this side first. Let me start removing the screws. I have a very good toolkit here. The Stanley 46 tools toolkit. I'm gonna carry it with me on my long rides. As you can see, it has a plethora of tools in here. And I'm sure that I should be able to fix anything that I need to fix. I've already seen this video on YouTube once. So I know all these things need to be removed before I can actually fix the radiator guard. This is the first time for me, but I thought that it is something I would be able to do. So let me try. Okay, this is done. Now the main four screws that are here, I need to remove those. That wasn't so difficult. I thought it was stuck, but it is not. There. That's easy. 
This is the radiator. I knew I had to wash it before I install the radiator guard. Fix it in from this side so I get more space. Nice. Much better. Okay, so I have to fix one side at a time. I think I'll fix this side first. It's a little bit easier for me to fix. I'll fix these first. I have to make sure I don't make it too tight after all this plastic. I don't want it to break. But I just wanted to do this myself because it's not that difficult to do. Okay, so now that's done. The second thing to install. Okay, so now the next thing to install will be fork seal covers. I washed the bike, but let me still clean these with a microfiber cloth to make sure that the forks are really clean. Okay, so here you go. I have the Motor Trends fork seal covers. I'm not endorsing this product or anything. It's the first time I'm using it ever on any of my bikes. But for upside down forks, it's meant to increase the life of the seals. So let's see. It's supposed to be really easy to install. Okay, so here's what I got. I got these four zip ties and I got two fork seals. It's supposed to be really easy to install. So let's see. That's one. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. Let's see how long this was. It basically looks like a sock on the shock absorber. Hey guys, so I th hope you enjoyed this video. I found it useful. So in the end, I did struggle a little bit, but I was able to install the Zana cry guard. Here you go. I'll show you how it is looking on the bike. There it is. And in addition to that, I also installed these fork seals over here. I'm not sure how useful they are, but people say they're really useful to keep the uh, fork, the seals, uh, the life of the seals uh, gets extended when you use these. So I guess I'll find out. Hi guys. So before I conclude this video, just one more thing is left. Uh, remember I had showed you a new accessory that I bought for my bike. It's called a growler. So it's basically to maintain the bike's chain and in case the bike has punctures. So let me show you. So first thing is I put the growler here in front. 
in the center. There. And the thing is, that when I put the bike up here, it slips a little bit. As long as it works, as long as I'm able to rotate the wheel, I should be able to do all kinds of chain maintenance that I want. So let me know if you like this accessory and if you find it useful. I have never used it before but I think maybe some of you might have used it and I am looking forward to feedback from you.